Hi, in this video I'm going to explain to you how you can get over this problem that I've just created on eBay, between eBay and YouTube I should say. YouTube videos now use this iframe format which is just causing chaos uh, for my eBay auctions. I've always been pretty, you know, comprehensive when I tried to make eBay listings. I did the best I could and I used to implement my own videos in there because I got a lot of good feedback. Customers seem to really appreciate it. It helps sales, I think, for sure. But the problem is, is that the videos that I had, even as much as last year, no longer work on eBay's platform. Now, of course, eBay doesn't allow CSS and JavaScript. Um, they, you can get away with doing some flash animations. I've done a little of this and that. And again, let me make it very clear, I am no computer expert. I know what I need to know. But I can tell you this much, I went through hours the other night, I think it was six or almost seven hours it took me to finally figure out the secret code. I've tried to do research, there is nothing available for anybody to try to come overcome this problem. So hopefully my information that I've learned to successfully beat this monster I can pass on to you and it can help you get some videos on your listings and hopefully help yourselves and get you some more money in your pocket. Now this video I have already completed. This is mine. It's my account. Besides having lots of good photographs and all that silliness, my YouTube video is right there. Music and all looks great. Now the trick to this is you basically have to go to YouTube, find your video that you wanted to put onto your listing. So I'm going to use this one. This is how to flash a Fortin bypass with a flash link kit. So I'm going to go to eBay. I'm going to find the flash link listing that I have. Shouldn't be too hard because this one has no fancy schmancy stuff and it's an older listing. So once I get in there, just so you can see before I make the changes, you can see my listing I got a scrolling gallery from Octiva. This thing is pretty cheesy. It's a pretty lame listing. Now what I want to do is underneath this header of the the, uh, the title, the flash link, link kit, I'm going to paste my video between here and here, which is going to jazz this thing up significantly. So I'm going to keep this window open, hit revise and get this thing ready to go. So have two windows open with the item that you want to add the video onto. Go on down to your description section. It's always going to come up as default in the standard type of uh, deal there. You want to hit HTML. Now I know that I want to put the video underneath that header which ended in the word kit. So I'm going to hit, use a, a command, command F, which is going to bring up this box and it's going to allow me to find any word I'm looking for. I already did this before the video to test the water so to speak. So I already put in the word kit. So in here it's telling me top of line flash link bypass USB flash link kit. So right after there, I'm going to hit return, leave myself an open space. This is where I'm going to put the video. So now you can get rid of that control fine. Go back to YouTube. Now here's the trick. You hit share, embed. There's the code. So you can right click, copy that. But the only way that this is going to work is if this box here is checked. And by default, by the way, folks, it is not. So if you just omit this little, this little step that I'm telling you right now, all is lost. This will do you no good. Make sure you check that box. Use old embed code. Again, right click, select all, right click, copy, go back to your listing. This is where the cursor is blinking. Right click, paste it in there, and you can go on down to the bottom, save and continue. Submit the revisions. That should work. Now let's look at the listing now. There's my cheesy listing. Aha!
And there you have it, folks. I wish somebody made this video for me so that way I could have learned. But there you go. That's how you do it.